In this tutorial, we will see how to consolidate data from multiple sheets with the help of simple VBA programming in Excel. Sometimes we have data on multiple sheets in Excel file and the task is to transfer data from all other sheets to one sheet. So here we can see that I have one Excel file and this file has five sheets. First sheet is master sheet and for other sheets like AA, BB, CC and DD. So these four sheets have some data in it. What I want is I want to transfer data from all other four sheets to this master sheet. So if I do this task manually, it will take a lot of time. Now, if we have some programming skills in VBA, then we can automate this task and that can save a lot of time. So here what I have already done, I have written some VBA code on the back end of command button that we can see here. Once I click this command button, it will work and it will consolidate data from all four sheets to master sheet. So let me click on this command button. Once I click on this command button, it has transferred data from four sheets to master sheet. So here in this tutorial, we will see what is the VBA code that I have written and what is the meaning of that code. So let's understand VBA code. For that, I will go to developer tab. Then I'll click on design mode. And then I will double click on this command button to view the VBA code. So this is the VBA code that I have written and this VBA code is consolidating data from all sheets to one sheet. Now the main advantage of this VBA code is that it does not matter if we have four sheets or 10 sheets. It will first count all the sheets in Excel file and then loop through each sheet and transferring data to one particular sheet. So let's understand this code step by step. So let me write comments to understand this code. First line says total sheets equal to worksheets dot count. So this line is counting total sheets in Excel file and then storing the count or number in total sheets variable. So let me write a comment. I will start with comma to count sheets in Excel file. Once we have counted sheets, then I'll loop through each sheet. So for that I have used for loop. It is starting here for i equal to total one to total sheets. And then this loop is closing here, closing here ne with next keyword. Between for loop, I have written one if condition and then if condition is checking that if sheet name is not equal to master sheet that means it will loop through all sheets but this code will not work when sheet name is master sheet so we are trying to avoid master sheet and looping through all other sheets then this VBA code is checking the last filled row on each sheet. So syntax is last row equal to worksheets in bracket i dot cells rows dot count and then comma one. That means by using values of first column dot and in brackets excel up dot row. So let me write comment here. Checking last filled row on each sheet. So once we are checking the last filled row on each sheet, then the next task is 
to run loop on each sheet from second row onwards to last row and then transferring each row to master sheet so for that i have used one more loop then using one new variable for j equal to 2 that means from second to last row and then activating the sheet then row is being selected by using sheet and row number so here i have used i and here i have used j because these are two variables we have used in looping now once row is selected then copy that row and then activating master sheet and on master sheet before pasting again checking that how many rows are already filled on master sheet so this line is also similar like last row equal to worksheets in bracket name of sheet dot cells rows dot count and then one by using first column dot and excel up dot row then on master sheet we will select the cell next to the last filled row by using last row plus one and then by using sheet property active sheet dot paste so here i am closing the loop and if condition i am closing this next is for this loop so let me do some more formatting So this VBA code is very similar to basic programming I would say. I have gone through some VBA code available for this task but I found that code very complex. So I have developed this simple code that will run through each sheet and then run through each row on each sheets and then transferring each row to master sheet. So we can modify this VBA code as per requirement. Let's say we have any other name except master sheet. So we will change name of master sheet. And this code is flexible to transfer data not only for four sheets, but to transfer data even we have 100, 200 or 500 sheets. So let me minimize this VBA editor window. Let me delete this data manually we can write code for deletion as well and then let me click on design mode so that i can come out of design mode and then i'll click on this command button one more time and we this vba code has simply transferred all the data on master sheet so by using simple for loop and if condition we have automated this task which can save lot of our time thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more vva learning tutorials thank you